Hi there YouTube, my name is James, I'm an armed guard in the state of Indiana and uh, this is my duty belt setup. The main purpose behind this video is to give ideas to you know new guys who may be starting a business or maybe even veterans who uh, have their duty belt set up and you know maybe give them an idea of hey that's something new I want to try that. So uh, here's my setup and uh, we'll take a look. Uh, we're going to start on my front right hand side which is this is the belt buckle would be at your 12 o'clock position um, we're going to do this like a face of a clock uh, and this is like a knockoff Akumo Bianchi belt uh, belt clip where you have to push this button first and then push in the probes to unlock the belt um, it's a great deal I got the belt a pair of handcuffs a handcuff holder um, a flashlight a flashlight holder and uh, OC OC spray holder for like forty nine ninety nine plus shipping at a website called Uniforms. You got add the S you know, UNI F O R M S Warehouse dot com. I can't say enough good stuff about them. Um, I you know a little thumbs up there. Uh, great website, great customer service. Uh, moving on, I have a get my little tab there. I have a double magazine pouch holder. Um, from same website, uniformswarehouse.com. Uh, this cost me ten bucks right here. Um, I did have to do some modifications to it. Originally, it comes vertical. For you guys who like it vertical, you know, just leave it fine. For me, I had to cut off the straps. I don't know if you can see it right there. I had to cut off the straps right there and re-sew them on horizontal because I choose to carry mine horizontal. Just Easier, it's easier for me to access them. I find it easier for me to access them with both hands that way. And the whole thing behind this holster is I can access everything on here or something of everything on here with both hands. Um, next to that, I have my Safari Land 6280 holster with it's this is without the level 3 add on and without the front hood guard. Um, I just find it easier like that. I don't want any more retention than a level 2. That's just my personal preference. Um, in the holster, I have a safety checked weapon, which is a, let me get out, Sigma 9VE Smith & Wesson, um, or Smith & Wesson Sigma 9VE. It is safety checked and cleared. Um, a lot of people you know, say this is a cheap gun. I, it is a cheap gun, but it's a great value gun. Um, I got this gun for 300 bucks used. It uh, came with two mag, or uh, three mags, and the paperwork on it in a box for 300 bucks. And you know what? I've put well over 1,500 rounds through this gun without any hitch. So you know, for you guys who say it's a worthless gun, bite me. Um, next to that, I have a pair of handcuffs. And this, I actually bought more for the handcuff case than the handcuffs. Um, they are an off-brand name handcuff. I got them off of eBay, as well as I got the holster off of eBay for 20 bucks. They don't, the guy's not selling these anymore, but, you know, uh, I got that off of eBay. And these are, I don't know if you can, where is this logo at? Right there. There's the logo of the handcuffs, if you guys see them. Uh... The nickel plated ones aren't bad, but if you see the black iodized steel ones, run from them like the plague. They suck monkey butt. Um, but the, the cases they come in are super bright. Um, it's not qu quite as solid as the belt would be, but the style of them, I love them. They, they hold up great. Um, next to that, put those back in there, I have just a big pouch which I carry my nitrate gloves in for if I have to do anything medical. Um, they work fine for me. I don't feel the need to buy the compact carry ones that you know you can carry two gloves in and uh, oxygen mask. I can carry the, all that in this pouch and it's a whole lot simpler. I just grab my hand in and everything's out right there. Uh, I have another case with these. Uh, this case actually came with the black version of these the iodized steel and like I said they suck so I replaced them with 
Smith and Wesson Model 100s. I had to choose between these or the uh, Peerless models. I don't know the model number of the Peerless, but these are Smith and Wesson. And I chose these just because the Peerless ones were sticking, and they, you know, they go about that far, and they wouldn't go in. And these just are like butter going through. So if I have to, you know, handcuff someone, that's that's just a whole lot less to think about. Uh, next to that, I have a flashlight and flashlight holder. This is a first class flashlight. It came with the belt from Uniform Warehouse. Um, it's pretty bright when it's f at full power. Um, it doesn't have. It does not have different modes. It it doesn't strobe like that. I'm doing that with my thumb. It doesn't have high or low. It's all one power. Um, it takes CR123A batteries. Um, it came in a keep cheap case, and that's you know just a LED flashlight. It works great though. So like I said, Uniform Warehouse, it's a great, great web website. Next to that, I have my Asp baton. I'm just switching camera hands here real quick, and just a standard 21 inch Asp baton. I have though about adding the extra finger grip right here, but you know, it's just something uh, I feel like I can wait for. I uh, came with a holder for it. actually got this on a deal with another duty belt. I paid 25 bucks for duty belt, holster, uh, a bunch of other stuff. And this came with it. It's a basket weave holster and duty belt. And this is obviously basket weave too. I'm probably going to upgrade this to a nylon eventually. Uh, next to that, I have a OC spray holder, and this again is first class brand stuff. Um, and that's not me saying it's first class; that's the name of the brand. It's first called first class, and it came with a the, this came with a belt. It's a great setup. Um, I carry it right up in the front, right next to my belt buckle. Uh, something I haven't seen a lot of people do, but I think is a super smart idea. Uh, I seen it from another guy on YouTube is you keep these zip ties or you know they're called single loop handcuffs um, in your belt and you see how much space those take up I mean they take up virtually no space maybe a quarter of an inch and they just run the whole entire length behind all your gear and they have a million one purposes so you know and that's something I put three on my belt, three seem to fit the two and a quarter inch belt length without any problem. Um, I am going to change these over eventually to have black, that way I can have black on black. And then we're back at the belt buckle at 12 o'clock, so if I have to go through, you know, time clockwise, this would probably be at 12, um, 11, 30, uh, 11, 10, 9, Six, seven, or eight, uh, three, and then one o'clock. So, and then the whole concept behind my duty belt is that I can have reach everything on my belt with either hand, except for my weapon. And since I can't reach my weapon with either hand, I carry a second weapon. I carry, uh, in my, I'm allowed to wear BD pants. In my BDU pants, I made a pocket holster for my Bursa Thunder 380. Right there, you can see it's clear, empty, no magazine. It's it's safe. And I carry that in my left cargo pocket. And my cargo pocket just snaps over. That goes in the holster. And my cargo pocket just snaps over that. And it's basically like a thumb snap holster for my gun. So, you know... You guys comment on my video, uh, tell me if you see anything you like, if you have any questions, uh, share them, uh, I'll try to answer my best. Please don't do it, you know, say any stupid stuff about, oh, well, that's, that, that's a piece of crap, or you shouldn't do that, because this is my setup, this is how I like it, you know, this is mainly for if you like it, you know, just comment, if not, go somewhere else, you know, take it for what it is, um, I hope I help some of you guys out, have a great day.